Cheer through the clouds. Hello, I'm Alan Gray, welcome to Get Gardening. You know, at this time of the year in the middle of winter, there's not that much around that's in flower. We've got snowdrops and aconites outside and a few other things. But here in my old working greenhouse, I want to show you something a little bit more exotic. Look at this, it looks like a campanula, but turn it up and just look at the beautiful inside of that. Now that's a winter flowering plant. It comes from a tuba, a storage tuber under the ground and it climbs and it's called Canarina canariensis. Canariensis because it's endemic to the Canary Islands, which is where it originally came from. These are baby plants. Um, they're not that big. This one has got a flower that's just gone over, but they're known for their winter flowering properties. And it's lovely. Once you get them to a decent size, they can be about a metre and a half tall. They scramble. So you train them over a wire trellis and they flower for you the whole winter long. But also, look over here what we've got. This, believe it or not, that's a fuchsia. Well, that don't look nothing like the fuchsia, I hear you say. Well, it is a fuchsia. It's called fuchsia arborescens. And if you look very closely at the flowers, you can see that they look exactly like miniature fuchsia flowers. But they're born in huge, huge clusters. And they're kind of two-toned because the outside of the flower buds are a shrieking magenta pink. And the inside is much, much paler, going down to a very pale little white eye with the stamens pushing forth. And if you could say, if you could describe the stamens like a blast from a horn, just imagine a puff of air coming out of a horn. That's exactly what they look like. Fabulous. Over here we have, believe it or not, a salvia. And this is salvia gesneriflora because flowers are shaped like those of a gesneriad but it blooms in the middle of winter. So it's not much good outside and an average English winter. But these are just a few old stock plants I've got. But don't they cheer a grey and gloomy day? Beautiful. This little chap is a scrambling climber that comes from Australia. It's called Hardenbergia violacea. There's also a pink and a white form of it, but I particularly like this one. And if you get up really, really close, you can actually see that those little individual flowers are just like perfectly formed little tiny weeny sweet peas. It's a member of the pea family. Here we have an, a winter flowering buddleia. If you look at it when the flowers first open, they're quite a deep mauve and then they fade to white. But as they open, they show their lovely little orange eye. I don't know the name of this one. I could easily find out, but somebody gave it to me from their greenhouse as a cutting. It's even scented. Now here, this looks be honest, it looks a mess. What is it? It's an nasturtium, a common or garden nasturtium. Well, it might be a nasturtium, but common it's not, because look at this flower. That is a double flowered nasturtium, and this is a name variety, and it's called Hermione Grasshoff. Sounds a bit posh, doesn't it? And possibly German? I don't know. Anyway, this flower in the summer is a pure, warm red almost an apricot red. It gets these yellowy streaks on when, it, when we have lower light levels in the winter. But because it's a double flowered nasturtium, it doesn't set seed. It's a sterile variety. So you have to vegetatively propagate it from cuttings to keep it going from year to year. Lovely thing. And this little chap here, a diminutive little darling, pale pink flowers with a dark pink eye. Well, it's an, it's an impatient, it's a busy lizzie. In the summer, these flowers are completely white. It's Impatiens Kilimanjari. And there are three forms of it that I have, a, a red and orange form, a shocking pink form, and this, the white form. I don't know why you don't see this for sale, because it's easy, it's pleasy, and it grows in the shade. It flowers outside all summer, and we've even taken pots of it into the conservatory in the winter time, and they've carried on right until Christmas time. It's a fabulous plant, Impatiens Kilimanjari. <laughs> but there's really not a... <laughs> <laughs> Comes from Australia. <laughs> Hold on. Kilimanjari. 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 